blow on our effects of Mars, and it seems the fraud demic is creating a black market in counterfeit, counterfeit uh, goods. This only deals with masks. Homeland Security says it has seized roughly 10 million phony N95 masks. The N95, if you don't know, is one of the most effective masks there is. Apparently just worn by uh, medical people, um, frontline workers and that type of thing. I don't really care, I want the damn things off my face. Take a look at this. This respirator helps protect against certain particles. Misuse or may result in sickness or death. For proper use, see supervisor or box or call 3M 1-800-247-3941. I'm thinking that one's a real one. And we're going down here. The U.S. government has confiscated around 10 million Phony N95 masks, which are being sold to hospitals, frontline workers, and government organizations. Gee, I thought a mask, mask was a mask. I guess not. Homeland Security agents busted the warehouse Wednesday, in which thousands of counterfeit, counterfeit N95 3M masks were housed prior to being shipped out the AP and Associated Press. Reported. 3M is a company located in Maplewood, Minnesota, and specializes in producing N95 masks that have been approved by the U.S. National Institute for Pro Occupational Safety and Health, NIOSH. I think this is a picture of one of the fake ones. Uh... I don't know how to tell, I just want the damn things off my face. Homeland Security informed roughly 6,000 individuals in at least 12 states that they have, may have unknowingly purchased counterfeit masks, putting themselves at risk, the AP reported. Phony masks are dangerous because they come from outside the normal supply chain do not meet proper N95 standards, according to the AP. Not only do they give you a false sense of security, how dangerous is an exposed individual without any protective gear? They have no utility whatsoever, he explained Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. 3M manufactured and delivered approximately 2 billion N95 masks during 2020, which was triple what they produced in 2019, according to their website. However, as the fraud demic continued and masks fell into short supply, counterfeit mask sales increased across the country, the AP reported. So basically, like I said, uh, all this is creating a black market and in inferior goods. This is fraud. This is part of the fraud demic. So you have no way of telling unless uh, some government bureaucrat contacts you whether your uh, mask is for real or for fake. I mean, it could be one thing or another. I mean, we're talking, these are the high-end masks. Uh, N95, I think it's, I don't know, it's some really, really tiny particles. Uh, kind of like middle of the night, and I'm uh, getting drowsy, so it's not coming out very well. But, uh... Sufficient to say this would be much more effective on the Wuhan flu than uh, most of these things will be. And that's about it. Uh, so, all this hysteria over masks is creating a black market. That's what this amounts to.
Then you're looking for a buck. And of course, I can't expect crooks to take it seriously. I've removed the Wuhan flu from my uh, fear list altogether. I'm not paying any attention to it really. It's just uh, going down the side of my uh, the side of the highway. I'll see I wear a mask sign. Suddenly my little finger uh, sticks up at it. But other than that, yes, it does. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's about it. Uh, so we have a new black market forming for this crap. Unbelievable. But it's all part of the fraud demic. Obviously, a whole lot of people don't believe this uh, stuff. And of course, I call it a fraud demic, so you can pretty much figure what I'm thinking. I want to thank some Mars. Thanks for watching.